Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to another editing video and in this video we will be editing our beautiful Megara from this to that. So let's get started! Alright, so the first thing that I'm immediately doing here is blocking off all her joints. Uh, normally I do not mind body joints on dolls and toys because, you know, it's toy photography so joints are a natural part of a doll or a toy. But in this case, that being said, the made to move body joints are definitely very obvious and it wasn't quite fitting in with the theme of the photo that I'm doing so I decided to take them out. And this video is going to be pretty straightforward, I think. There's not much difficult stuff happening. It's the usual. The, the most difficult part is probably the removing of the joints. Aside from that, we just plug in a background and do some editing. Duh. <laughs> So this shot is obviously inspired by the movie scene where Megara first meets Hercules and she is having a something with the River Guardian and when she and Herc are talking she is like still being holed in the fist of the River Guardian and I thought that was such a nice moment where she's literally being holed by a giant monster but she's having casual talk with Hercules so I think that really captured her personality in that opening scene. Alright, so now that the joints are out of the way, we're going to remove the background from our doll. And another uh, reason that inspired me to do this shot is also because when I was younger, I used to play the Hercules action game on the PlayStation 1. And uh, the level where Meg and Hercules meets is the most difficult part for me because me and my sister were never able to figure out how to defeat the River Guardian. So we never actually made past level 4. <laughs> Alright, so the background is now done, so we're gonna bring in the fist of our River Guardian. So funny enough, this photo, I actually took a photo of the extra hand that came with my Doctor Strange figure that is in a fisted... fist... in a... in a... I don't know, fisted, is the, that's the only word I can think of! So in this position, so we can just plug that in and slide Meg right into it. And here I am trying to adjust the color to match the blue hue of the River Guardian in the movie. And I added some little bit of a shadow there so it looks like he's, she's in between the hands instead of just floating on it. So now we plug in our background, which is the waterfall, a little bit of a Gaussian blur. And don't start on me about those nails. It's, it's not a nice story. But because of those nails, which were very not nice at all, I decided to edit her hand with the hand of my Mariposa Barbie, which turned out really nice because it kind of actually looks like Meg's hand in the movie because she had such dainty, very seductive hands happening in the movie, so I, th I thought it went well. All right, anyway, let's talk about the nail painting before. So that's one of my things when I'm just bored and have nothing to do and I just start doing stuff that I will regret later. In this case, that horrible nail polish, which was not even in lines on her fingernails. It's like, it's like her whole f fingertip was dipped in nail polish and that was it. I was gonna edit the other hand as well, where she is touching her face, but I just didn't want to figure out how to edit around her face, so I dropped that idea. And I was uh, short on time as well. And now I uh, took out the little piece of her dress so that there is some element of her on top of the, uh, the hand instead of the whole thing being buried underneath the hand. Do you hear that? That's my computer making the sound because it's rendering the video right now. And I did cinch her waist a little bit. I'm all for body, body, body. <laughs> I'm all for body positive, so don't come for me. I just wanted to make it more accurate to the film, where in the film she had really tiny waist. Her waist is like the size of my wrist. Oh my 
god, I was so scared of people coming for me. I couldn't even talk properly. I said bobbity. <laughs> Alright, now we're just making her hair a little bit fuller because in the movie her ponytail goes upwards before it comes back down like Ariana. So I wanted to get that. And I'm uh, enhancing her lipstick and her eyeshadow a little bit here. Just wanted to be more vibrant. Uh, my least favorite part about editing a photo is actually the hair. The hair little strands where it's very uh, tricky to actually go in between the strands and, you know, delete out the background because right now you can see that the white is still showing through. And of course, I edit the hair strands a little bit. And this part, this little line with the joint, it won't go away no matter how much I edit it. So I got fed up and left it that way. And finally, we're adding some water splash effects because I just wanted to add a little bit of something there and didn't want the photo to be very plain. So imagine that the river guardian is stomping around in the river and there are water splashes everywhere. So that is it. That was everything I wanted to do on the computer with this photo. So right now I'm going to save the photo, transfer it to my phone to do some final color grading and some effects. 2000 years later. And we're back. So right now she have received her final color grading as well as some effects. So the effects were simple. I just added some little uh, light sparkles and twinkles on the water and a god ray effect on the upper right corner. So it's like the shine is, uh, the shine is sunning. <laughs> the sun is shining on them and it's reflecting on the water. So now let's take a look at how she was before and now. So this was a very simple shoot uh, sh edit though actually I only it only took me about an hour I think usually when I have to do a lot of stuff it takes me about two to three hours so I'm really happy with how the photo turned out and I really really just love how the hand turned out I actually wished I had just pushed myself through to edit the other hand too but it's okay <laughs> now all she needs is my watermark and she is good to go. So that was it for this edit video. It's pretty straightforward, I, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below which doll you want me to see edit next. I actually have an aerial video planned as well, but I just haven't figured out when to post it. So it'll probably come next week or so. But thank you so much for watching. And you can also check me out on Instagram at Chamey Creates, where all these photo I edit will go on there. So you get tons of toy photography content on my Instagram. You can also thumbs up and like this video and subscribe here on my YouTube channel so that you get more toy videos in your video feeds. As always, thank you so much for watching until the very end and here I am drawing a heart to show you guys my appreciation. I actually think I'm getting better at drawing these hearts. The first one was very bad but I think this one turned out well. Thanks again, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!